awakening. Some of the old scriptures, two things. Some of the old scriptures you used to like, it's going to be a new light. And you're going to go to it and go say, man, I see it differently. And some of the hard places that you didn't understand are going to come to light. Yeah. Yeah. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn it. Why? Why am I going to condemn it? Because I understand that the law proceeds from him has given me a judgment that brings rest and light to me. Am I right? Therefore, any conversation that doesn't fit Isaiah 51 4, I can condemn it. Why? This is the heritage of the servant of the Lord, and the righteousness is of me. It came from me. Y'all got it? That's powerful. It says, No weapon formed against you should prosper every time that should rise against thee in judgment. Thou shall condemn. Come on. Condemn them tongues. Come on. Mm -hmm. huh? Those accusations. Yes. They want to tell me yes. I'm not worthy mm -hmm. to become one who will yes. be a priest yes, that rule yes. in justice. Judgment. That I can't execute what I'm about to say in Psalms 149. Go with me. Right. <laughs> Good stuff, man. Yes, sir. Verse 5. Isaiah 49 and 5. Let the saints be joyful in glory. We don't have to be joyful in glory in the next life. Come on. We found Come out on. we got glory in us now. Yes. Yes. And the magnitude of the glory we carry is being worked out in us. Yes. Am I right? Yes. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Oh, boy, we can preach. Verse 6. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth. And the two-edged sword in their hand. What is that two-edged sword? What is it? The word of God. God. Y'all better not know that one. Remember, Hebrew 4 and 12 says it's a two-edged sword, right? It's a two-edged sword in my hand. And the high praises of God in our mouth. Well, I don't know why saints are the most complaining people. <laughs> he told us what we need to have in our mouth. The high praises of God is what we're supposed to communicate. Yeah. Zach 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 Zephaniah 3 says it's going to be a day that we're going to have a pure language. Some of us need uh, 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 who, uh, what's one of the names? Gabriel or Michael to get some coals off the altar and touch our tongue. We need to touch like Jeremiah and Isaiah because we haven't yet yielded our tongue to the Lord and let high praises of God to be in our mouth. Oh, there you go. For then I will turn the people of pure language and that they may call upon the name of the Lord and serve him with one I just threw that in there. That don't cost y'all nothing. But I like pure language. Okay, so that's what happens when we speak. Other folks, shit, teacher, that folks are that's connected to the game. But go back to uh, uh, verse 7. Uh, verse, yeah, verse 7. Mm -hmm. To execute vengeance upon who? The, the heathen. Yeah. And punishment upon who? The people. How many know we don't wrestle with flesh and blood? So we're yeah. not talking about per se. David had to wrestle with physical nations. We're not wrestling with physical mm -hmm. nations, am I right? Yeah. We're wrestling with uh, the flesh and blood, principalities and power, am yeah. I right? Mm -hmm. To institute upon the heathen and punishment upon the people. For those that are watching, I still believe in casting out devils. That's why I put I put a plug in last week. I still believe in cast. I still believe in the power of God. I still believe in the ministry of Jesus. If, if Jesus cast out devil, Paul cast out devil. Mm -hmm. I'll be coming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to bind the kings with chains and the nobles with the fetters of iron. That's what we've been called to do. Yes. For the first installment of our judgment, if we're going to rule in judgment, we're going to have to deal with some high things. Mm -hmm. I can't get to the next level of the next week of judgment. There's a two, two layer application. First, we have to be in training for rain. The high praises of God need to be in our mouth. And the two edged sword in our hand, that we may bind the kings with chains and the noblemen with feathers of iron. It's us executing the judgment that's written, which is the next one, I believe. Yep, verse 8 to bind, oh yeah, verse 9. To execute upon them the judgment written, this honor have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. This honor have some folks. Oh. Just the bishops. Oh. 
Just the five-fold ministry gifts? Oh, just the supernatural super people? Oh, <laughs> just the one that pray? Pray all the time? Oh, How about the intercessors? The glow oh, in the dark. Oh, Call them the glow in the dark. That's the, that's the glow in the dark people. They walk through walls. Mm. Uh, this honor him all his saints. Now this Old Testament stuff is speaking prophetically to where we are. Yeah. Yeah. A better covenant with better promises yeah. that's telling you, us, me, we, that we do have an honor. It's an honor to have the high praises of God in your mouth. It's an honor to be skillful in the word of righteousness. It's an honor to be right and divide the word of truth. It's an honor to stand flat-footed and say, you know what? I'm standing in my inheritance. Yes. Amen. Yes. Say, you know what? You can't come here. You can't stay here. You can't. I'm going to ask you the judgment that is written. There yes. is a judgment that was written. And the prince of this world was cast yes. out. Yes. Yes. Amen. Jesus yes. consummated the sin of his finish. Yes. Y'all got it? Yes. This honor have all his saints. Therefore, it is clear that the gospel would slay the enemies of God. This is precisely what takes place through the preaching of the gospel to those who rebel against Jesus Christ. He slays them with the sword of his mouth, the sword of his spirit. And likewise, the sword of the spirit that's in his mouth is also in our mouth. And through the gospel, we are able to fulfill what he said in Matthew 16. We said we can make things lawful or unlawful. Whatsoever you bind on earth is bound in the heavens. And the Greek it says, whatever the heaven has declared what's lawful, you can bind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this means that I just can't go around binding kings and chains. And I have an honor, but the Spirit of God, the one that's sitting in the earth to be my paraclete, my help me, call alongside me. Well, give me the, 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 the information or the revelation or the strength and fortitude to operate in the ministry that Jesus gave to the first century church. He told him in Mark 16, in my name you should do what? Before he spoke with tongues. Before he laid hands on the sick. Before he took any dead things, he said, in my name you're going to do what? Cast out, Cast out devils. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the law of first mention. Yeah. So we need to cast out devils. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. We don't talk about stuff like that no more. Mm -mm. Go, I'm going to close. Go to Luke 10. We're going to close right here. We're going to talk about the other half of the judgment next week. And I'm going to try to get three, two, next, two done next week. Two done next Wednesday. So I'm going to have to go like a, like a fire in a flash pan. Okay. <laughs> I got to go fast. Uh -oh. Amen? Mm -hmm. Did anybody get anything tonight? Yes, sir. Okay. Y'all still trying to find our loop? Everybody there say amen. amen. Now I'm going to ask again. Anybody get anything tonight? Yeah. Uh, if I clap, that means I got to do it, Apostle. I, I, I really didn't intend to clap because I don't held a calm loop, a loop 10. I, I, see, I've been in y'all seats, so I know how it worked. Mm -hmm. You know, just pass, pass it off. Just. As <laughs> long as they don't ask anything of <sighs> You get a chance to do something that your family never had a chance to do. Yeah. You have bloodlines that lived all their lives yeah. to find out. Or they even haven't even discovered that God wanted them to co labor with him. Yeah. Yeah. They thought that whatever when they got saved, it was that was it. Yeah. 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 And that's why I don't understand why why there's not a lot of joy. Because we read it over there in the sixth verse that when things are discovered in Psalms 149, it said, Let them be joyful. Yeah. Yeah. Knowing that you can execute a victory that Jesus wrote for you at the cross. That other people can come out of some stuff. But sometimes it's because we're not out of some stuff. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Luke 10 to 17. 
Yeah. 17. And the 70 returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devil was subject to us through your name. Mm -hmm. That's it. <laughs> I sound country, don't mm -mm. I? I kind of like that. Mm -hmm. No, he said, no, don't do that. Don't do that at all. But you, you got to understand, he sent these guys out to demonstrate the kingdom, and they come back, the 70, yeah, said the 70, say, hey, the devils are subject to us. We ain't never seen this before. Mm -hmm. Then 18, he said, he said of them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Mm -hmm. He said, don't even worry about this, guys. I, every, time I, I, every time I send you out, something happening in the heavens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Am I right? And some folks say, you know, whatever your theology is, but I, I personally believe because it doesn't have any respect for time if you look at it yes. in its original language. I believe every time we come to church, it don't have to be a great uh, display of power, but when God, the word, the gospel is being preached, I believe Satan is losing ground. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 He lost ground, but I mean his ability to deceive is losing ground. Amen? I, I don't know. Foolish me. Say, behold, I give unto you power to trade on servants and scorpions and over all the power of the yes, enemy. Nothing yes. should by any means hurt you. Notwithstanding in this, rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. He straightened them rascals out, didn't he? Mm -hmm. He said, look, y'all don't get big headed. You better rejoice because you've been born again mm -hmm. or you have the capacity to understand heavenly stuff. Watch. In that hour, Jesus rejoiced in spirit and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent and hast revealed them unto babes, even so, Father, so, for so it seemed good unto thy sight. What is he talking about? The ministry of deliverance. He said, the ministry of deliverance is hid from some people. Some people don't believe on in it because they're, they're no longer, uh, 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 they're wise and prudent. 